Hi, and welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it's a privilege to get to visit with Coach J.J. Eckert, the head football coach of the Northeastern State River Hawks. And Coach, I, at this time of year, I, I would really enjoy visiting with you about football and death charts and uh, you know, just plans for the future as it stands today. The announcement came down from the MIAA that the fall sports would be put on hold at least until after January 1st of 2021. I'd like to talk with you about that and, and just uh, just touch base with you. How are things in Tahlequah right now in regard to that announcement? Well, I mean, I think it's really, a, you know, I, as much as you hate to say, I think we probably expected it. I mean, when you look at the landscape of college football and the way things have kind of went the last 10 to 14 days, um, I believe the MIAA has been made a statement from the get-go that they're going to be the last conference standing. And we appreciate Commissioner Racy for that thought of trying to find a way somehow to be able to make this thing work. But, you know, I think it's just been such a challenging time. I mean, it's been one of those scenarios where, you know, we it kind of changes daily. We, we go back and, you know, we get some, some literature back on August the 5th about things you got to do to be able to have that opportunity to play and participate this past fall or this fall. And it was challenging. I mean, I think it was tough for a lot of people at a lot of levels to be able to do all the things necessary for that to happen. So, I mean, it, it's disappointing. Uh, you know, I think President Turner and and Matt Cochran, our athletic director, have done an amazing job through this whole process as far as leading us through these uncharted waters that we've been in. And I, and I really, I, I hate it as much as anything for the student athletes. I mean, for them, you know, one day you think you're playing, the next day you're not, and then you're trying to figure out all the things that go along with that process as well. So it's been, it's been tough. I mean, I, I, I saw an interview the other day where, you know, talked about no one's ever been through these kind of situations. And so I think that's the tough part. I mean, you just don't really know what the de- next day holds. And obviously you're trying to do what's best for your student athletes and make sure you provide a safe and healthy environment for them, you know, as a student and as an athlete. So, you know, it's been tough. And again, I, I, I've always tried to talk a lot about the idea. That's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. So, I'm sure we'll have a chance to hopefully deal the, deal with this in a way that we can find a way for it to be beneficial for us as a program. When when you talk with your student athletes regarding this, have you had an opportunity to visit with them yet today? I'm sure that with social media, I mean, information gets out so quickly that everyone has a good idea of what's going on. Have you had a chance to visit with them? We had uh, we had a chance to get a text message out to them right there about the time it was released. And so that was about an 11 o'clock hour. And then we had some uh, meetings going on on campus and some interviews and stuff like that. So I have not had a chance to really, I've talked to some individual student athletes, but I haven't had a chance to talk to the collective group as a whole just yet. Coach, when you move forward and we're visiting now with Coach J.J. Eckert from Northeastern State, a part of the MIAA, and uh, the league has decided to go ahead and put fall sports on a hold due to the NCAA resocialization guidelines and the updates from that. And so uh, fall sports are basically suspended through January 1st of 2021. Uh, Looking ahead then, Coach, I I know that uh, you've had a lot on your plate looking to move into your second season as the head coach there in Tahlequah, a place I know that you're very familiar with and and, and love. Uh, How do you look ahead and and how do you approach at least the next few months? Because as you mentioned, it is uncharted territory. And so you've, you've not had to deal with a season like this before as a player or a coach. Well, you know, I think that's the one thing when you look at it. I mean, I it's, it's always been hard to be able to sit here and, you know, we'd be in fall camp and going through the whole process and, you know, not really having a chance to be thinking about all the scenarios that lie ahead. So, I mean, I think when you look at the big picture off of it, I mean, there are some benefits. I mean, and I just sit there and say that from the idea that we were able to sign a, a really good freshman class in this 2020 group. We've added some, obviously, some transfers and a few signees late in the equation to be able to have a, a, a really good size class as well. And so, I mean, I'm trying to look at the positive saying, you know what, hey, instead of having to play a game on September the 3rd or September the 5th or possibly even October 3rd, we get a chance, hopefully, you know, assuming things go in a good manner moving forward and we get a chance to do it, but we might get a chance to have an opportunity to work these guys out here in the month of September in October and November, and obviously have a chance to get them in a situation where they can physically improve and really get way ahead academically and all the other th- great things that can go along with that. Because usually, I mean, you get, you know, you start school on, you know, the, the latter part of August, you got a game right there in the first of September and it's busy all the way to the middle of November. And so it's, it is, it's a different thought process. So, I mean, and again, we don't have all the answers moving forward. We kind of know what the first week's going to look like 
as far as being able to have a chance to get back to some voluntary workouts with our student athletes, but just not knowing what lies ahead after that is kind of the challenging part. So I, I'm, I'm praying for the best. I'm hoping we have an opportunity to get them, you know, in a situation where they can be safe and healthy in the environment that we're creating and also having a chance to be really successful as student athletes as well. Coach, you're not alone in that. We are praying for the best and we're praying for uh, coaches and, and leaders like you who are getting ready to, to lead student athletes at some point in time. We believe it's going to happen. Sports will will come back, even though I know that, as you mentioned, we're, we're still in, in a bit of a flux time and, and a, you know, a state of not knowing exactly what it is. But we will move forward, and, and uh, I just wish success to you. We'll get a chance to speak again sometime soon, hopefully uh, you know, near the end of this calendar year, and maybe we'll know a little bit more by then. Will there be football in the spring, interestingly enough, or uh, will we look ahead to 2021? Any way around, success, Coach, to you and to the Riverhawks this year as we move forward. And thank you very much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching The Summit. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you all. Please do consider subscribing to this channel, MidwestSports.net. Have a great day.